Today I'm going to show you a highly requested feature called focus stacking in Luminar Neo. As always, I want to fully disclose this is a pre-release version, so anything you see today could change upon the initial release. I don't have an exact date as of today, but I'll be sure to post it in the description below once I find out. It's definitely coming in November, which is around the corner. Now I'm not going to go into all the details of why you would do focus stacking. Basically it's a way to get your image as sharp as possible for the subject that you're focusing on. This is great for macro photographers, product photography, and even for landscape photos. Now once it's released, just like with the other extensions, you would go up to your menu here on the puzzle piece, click on that, and then it's going to show you all the extensions that you may already have. Here we have focus stacking, mine says installed. Yours would say pre-order if you were to order it now. The images I have here were literally just taken a few minutes ago. It's been raining all day and I haven't been able to get out to shoot anything nice. But for demo purposes, I think this will serve well. So we have a very dry and almost dead flower here. And if you look at the focus point here, the foreground is more in focus with the main subject being out of focus. That's the first shot. The second shot, I've got the flower in focus. And then the last shot, we see the little baby's breath. That's what it's called. Those are in focus. And if you look at the foreground and the flower, those are out of focus. Similar to HDR merge, we're gonna combine these photos to to get the whole subject in focus. So I'm simply going to drag the images into the focus stacking area, same way we do with HDR merge. Click on the gear box and then we see the options that we have. Auto alignment, just in case there's some slight movement in your images. Then you can select your reference image. In my case it would be the second shot, which is great. And I've got chromatic aberration reduction checked just in case. Now I haven't actually timed this yet, so I'm going to do it uh, as I record this video. And I'm also going to leave it in real time so you can see it process. So I'm going to go ahead and click start on my phone and stack on Luminar Neo. One, two, three. There we go. We see it process here. We're already at five seconds. And let's see here. Go in, go in, go in. Now this is a raw photo. There we go. 16 seconds, now give or take a second or two. It's not terrible. For three images at about 45 megabytes, it's not terrible. So as you see here, if we zoom in closer here, we see everything in focus. If you remember the first image, the foreground was in focus, everything else was blurred. And then of course the second image, the flower itself was in focus. And the third image, we had the background in focus and now it's combined all three. For the next example, I just lined up some lenses and put them at different depths. So the first shot here, we see my adapter is in focus. The next shot, we have my Helios 44-2 in focus. And actually, the focus point is more on this side here. The next shot, we have the serial number in focus. The shot, I have the kit lens in focus. And the last one, my Sony 50 millimeter 1.8. These are the raw files. The other ones are JPEGs. We're going to slide that in. I'm assuming that the settings are still the same. Yep. There we go. And I'm going to time these five and see. Last time we had 15 to 16 seconds, right? So we're going to click stack and start on my phone. One, two, three. Typically I, you know, would have something witty or funny to say. I might even sing for you, but not this time. <laughs> Sorry, children. <laughs> but we're at past 16 seconds now. And 20 seconds. So about 24-ish seconds. Obviously, the more pictures you have, the longer it's going to take. So here's the image, everything in focus. Let's go into the edit tab here. So as we look at the image, we see everything's in focus. All the lettering 
You can see the serial number here. We can see the writing for the 15 to 45 and the 51.8. But it's pretty straightforward and easy to do. Other than the time it takes to process it, let's say you're using 10 to 20 images. Obviously that could take longer, but again, this is a beta. It could be faster on the initial release. I don't know that, but it's definitely a useful tool that I think many of you guys would find super useful. Now, in case you didn't know, Noiseless AI is a lot faster now. I just did a video on it last week. Be sure to check it out here. But until the next video, my good people, I'll see you when I see you.